A former Liberal MP who was suspended from Parliament for misusing entitlements is making a political comeback in a bid to oust Victoria's Premier. Julia Bradley has the details from Victoria's Parliament. Julia, Jeff Shaw heading up the United Australia Party there. Well, that's right, Kieran. United Australia Party leader Clive Palmer was in Melbourne today for this announcement. He says that uh, former Liberal MP Jeff Shaw will, in fact, be the new head of the UAP here in Victoria, ahead of our state election. So, Jeff Shaw, he's a controversial figure. He held the position of the member for Frankston between 2010 and 2014, but he came in, became an independent in 2012, where he held the balance of power in Parliament for a period of time. However, he was ultimately suspended from Parliament over the misuse of entitlements. Now, he'll be running in this state election for the upper house seat of Northern Victoria because it's the biggest seat and he says he'll be running for the UAP because he believes that he is fed up with Daniel Andrews. Our party and uh, Craig Kelly and others have been at the forefront in Victoria um, in, in uh, fighting against the most most um, repressive government in the Commonwealth. You know, for many years we've suffered, and we're still suffering as Victorians, of policies that have destroyed families, small businesses and jobs. Julia, there have been more resignations too in the Liberal Party. Well, the latest resignation is one of the lawyers for the Liberal Party, Chandra Lloyd. Now, reportedly, she sent an email to party president Greg Mirabella on Monday night suggesting that she can no longer work under the campaign leadership team. She has accused them of ignoring her legal advice, suggesting that some of their decisions may have broken the law. Now, sources from within the party have told the Herald Sun today that this is in relation to two concerns in particular. Firstly, a donations drive that was run by the Liberal Party in late August called Ditch Dan, as well as the mailing out of postal vote applications to some constituents. Now, the Victorian Electoral College has since confirmed that the specific postal vote applications that were sent out by the party to some constituents were in fact legal. However, I did ask opposition leader Matthew Guy what he thought of all of this uh, saga, this latest resignation, whether he fears that it's overshadowing the party's campaign. I knew, knew that, she was, that she had resigned, but I didn't read any beyond that email in that newspaper. So you'll have to raise that with the Secretariat. Look, I'm as I said, any issues around accountability, I'm more than happy with the Secretariat to make sure we get right. Everyone would, and so would we. So yet another resignation from the Victorian Liberal Party. Certainly not a good look, Kieran, with just over 40 days until our state election here in Victoria. No, very messy. Julia, thank you.